Greg. Mike. Two bandits. Watching. Bluey. This episode is called Zoo. What up, party oh, people? He's just going for it. Welcome. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> to episode 35. 35. That's two my favorite number. Two bandits. Yes. Two of us. Watching Bluey. I am your good pal, Greg Painter. He's right over there. His name's Greg Painter. I saw him. I did with my own eyes. I hey, me. Yep. Can't keep this monkey in a cage. His name is. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. Sorry. I'm Mike Martin. You hey. forgot your name. <laughs> To the best of us. Yeah, man. How's your week? I am still recovering from the Outer Banks life. Banks I'm, lifestyle. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Like, I appreciate everybody that that enjoyed the dump and whatever it may have been. But you know what? You are such I, a perfectionist. It was beautiful. I made it out alive. You made it out alive. It was We're the here Outer talking. Banks ambiance. It was great. But yeah, getting back to the real world is hard. Oh, it's real hard. <laughs> the real world, Syracuse, New York. MTV style. The one thing that was nice about getting back to the real world is okay. what we found out on Monday. What did we find out on Monday? 20K, baby. 2K, baby. So <laughs> thank you, guys. 20,000 downloads for our silly little show. Us. Put a smile on our face. It's you and me. And somehow, did you die? Did, so you click download 10,000 times, and I click download 10,000 times. <laughs> My dude, I, don't, I think I'm like three episodes behind <laughs> just to make sure that you actually posted them right. So... Thank you to the people who are actually downloading and listening. We appreciate you. We love you. Stealing the mouth of babes. But what up, party people? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you God. did it. You got, all, you got all cute on us. Darn got, Flarbit. Got that. But then the other, we had the highest of the highs and almost the lowest of the lows. Uh-oh. What? Because... We were in the dumps. Our, our, we, we were in the dumps. <laughs> oh, you did a me. I'm cute. <laughs> I know. When, I think it was Wednesday. What? The news... Kind of oh, broke? Geez. So the blue is done. The possibility. Oh, my our, gosh. Our not good friends at the Daily News UK and are also not good friends at Breaking News US. Oh, get on get on Wiki Bluey level. Saying no more, Bluey. Who? <laughs> Which was confirmed words, words or denied. Ha- exactly. By our good friends at Official Bluey. Exactly. So... Some fear, though. What would we do? Um, We'd only have 100 some odd more episodes that we could do. Right. So by the time that we hit 40, What are we going to talk about? Pig, pig, over my dead body. <laughs> I don't have an answer to it. <laughs> you're, like a, you're like a wild animal. If there's only a way that oh. I could cage you. I, I <laughs> can't think of another way. Despite all my rage. Then I'm, I'm just not. A puppet pig a, in a cage? There you go. <laughs> Smashing Pumpkins, what's up? What's I don't, up? I don't think Shout I've ever out to a, listeners. Yeah, I don't think I've ever listened to a full Smashing Pumpkins album. I just I was about to Have say you? the guy's name. I completely forgot his name. Oh, no. Billy Corgan. Billy Corgan. I'm here for you. Don't worry. Owner of Impact Wrestling at one point? Is he, I'm about to say, he, I know he's a wrestling fan. Yes. But I don't know. Yes. 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 Impact. Yes. And mm. it's time to talk about the zoo. Let's do that. Or instead. zoo. Just zoo. Not the let's, zoo. Just zoo. Let's like just talk hospital about zoo. And not the hospital. Just well, zoo. Where do we go to talk about it? talk about our good friends at wiki bluey hey greg to see that synopsis what is zoo (laughs) bluey's backyard zoo is home to wonderful animals especially Mm -hmm. the big blue daddy gorilla okay but when he grabs visitor bingo that wasn't bingo that was no drop when he grabs visitor bingo and escapes zookeeper bluey must recapture the wild beast hmm six and a half out of ten yeah, I would not recommend. Maybe. Would not recommend. This this episode, I mean, I'm going to throw it out there right out of the gate. This one hits me. It hits a weird chord with me. Oh. It, it does. Continue. It, it will, I think, I mean, I think it's one of those few episodes that's, that Joe Brum is not involved with the actual writing process. I think really? it was one of the. I think it was one of the first episodes that he didn't actually fully have a, a mindset on creating. And... And you can there. There are certain things that happen throughout the episode that you can see is just it. It, it, it puts me on tilt a little bit because Ooh. it's it's not a it's not a but not in like a like a oh you know in the dump you're like oh I relate to Bandit because I feel that it's like there are things that happen in this episode that just make my head kind of eh. really I'm I'm curious yes. to see what they are so let's hop into it my friend I, I 
hop, Brent, skip, and a jump. Show me where your rage comes. <laughs> it's not rage. All right. <laughs> Despite all your rage. Yeah, okay. This episode's brought to you by Billy Corgan. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we kick it off. We're reading books. Julie's got her book. Bandits reading the paper. Kids want to yep. play zoo. Mum will be mum, yep. which fits. Blue's going to be the zoo keeper. Yep. Bingo's going to be the toddler snowflake. Not just a toddler, just Boop. a, a kid. Boop. Toddler snowflake. That's Bingo's so, character is always so flushed out. So flushed out. And, and he's when he's reading the paper, he's, 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 he's reading something like the back of the page is something about, you know, a, a football game. Um, uh, soccer. Is that what it is? Football guys. Right? Is that with the circle and the the ball with the black lines? Trying to the... trying to suck up to oh, well, our I... lovely everyone but American football dot au. Sorry, there you go. <laughs> but but any who's the, the soccer ball is going for the back of the guy's head. Like it's a, it's an action shot, and I can only imagine what's going on in that newspaper article that's that's causing that to happen. So that's just my little moment of hmm. That's kind and of things that make you go hmm. Things that make. <laughs> Because in, in my head, too, I was like, oh, he's reading the sports section. Yep. But he's inside the paper. That's just the back page. He could be reading about anything. What kind of Sunday paper do you see that you see a giant picture on the back of the back page? Do you get the Sunday paper? That feels like a New Yorker type of thing, which is not New Yorker. What is it? The New York Post, which Thank is that you. trash paper. Yes. Taking take down is? the New Wait, York Post. I said yes. Yes. Fine. Yeah. Uh, we do not get a Sunday paper. For like we a few not. years, we were getting one for free randomly. And we weren't sure how it was were you happening. Stealing them? No, <laughs> it was in our mailbox. I'm we never asking. ordered it, and we never asked for it. But it showed up. We're like, okay, let's look at it? the funny, the phony pages. <laughs> the most the, important part. We still get the Sunday papers, so. though. <laughs> there's one sitting you, like right around the corner. I promise you, there's one. Do sitting. you pay for it? Huh? Do you pay for it? I take a walk every morning and go to the the Circle K and, and buy a Sunday Look at paper. you, Mister Exercise. Got to get your steps. Got to get my steps, man. But Dad just wants to be Dad sitting on the couch reading the paper. He doesn't yes. want a job. No. But don't worry. They've got a special job for him as they slowly stroke the side of his face. Yeah. That... <laughs> he can tell He's this not... is not going to be good. So I don't know. It's 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 like I said, it's it just something's off in this episode because Bandit's not like, ha ha, I'll play along, ha ha, I'm not gonna play along. He like he li- it feels like a literally a day that Bandit's just like, nah. Like, yeah, he, he's doing his own bandit thing. He doesn't want to get too much into it. He turns around after a while. He gets yep. into it. He must have finished his article. <laughs> is that I'm what it is? I'm not sure. <laughs> he's, he's, he's deep into the New York Post, and he was just like, okay, now and, I'm done with this, and I looked at the big picture on the back. <laughs> now, now jumping back to yeah. a comment made in your one of your favorite episodes, Bumpy. Uh-huh. Bingo, mum aren't there. Their creativity goes a little bit off. Their acting goes a little bit off. Uh-huh. We've got Snowdrop. And Lady Gabardine. I love it. Uh, got her fancy hat. The, uh, you, I think you called it. They are the creatives of the team. They are, yes. Bandit is a good yes-ander. Louis is good at coming up with philosophies and ideas and overarching games. But the creative juices, that runs with Mom and Bingo in a big way. It, it does. And it's it's interesting. And I don't know if... Because now at this point in time, we've hit, we've hit a certain tier of how old the Lilies are. And Bingo in my head is she's aged a bunch. She's been doing a lot, and it feels like they they almost knock her down a peg in this episode. She's playing a character though. She's not. Do you think that's what? Yeah. Do you think that? Because oh, she said, "I'm Snowdrop, the toddler." And I, because and oh, when she you're was making my head explode when she no. saw the when <laughs> oh, she no. saw when she saw the draft. Ooh, Joaf Kangaroo is hop hop. hop. <laughs> Bouncy, bouncy, bounce. She's playing a character so, as basically Muffin. She's playing. A, <laughs> she's playing. Kind don't ever go full Muffin. She's <laughs> never go but, full Muffin. Exactly. She's playing a kind Muffin, a loving Muffin. Wow. Okay. Now, now I look like the dumb dumb in this situation because <laughs> I'm judging a four year old who's playing a two and a half year old. That's a thirty six year old talking about the. Oh my god. I'm done. All yeah. right. Cool. We're, if we're, yeah. gonna de- we're getting deep in the character play. I'll bring this up too. Go for it, please. Now lady I'm lost in the lady Gabardine. Uh huh. She's got a little bougie. Yes. Little better than this. Just the little, hat. Just the hat. Mm, think uh, she's think she's mocking Wendy a little bit here. Really? You got it? Uh, yeah. What? She feels very Wendy. She snaps at the animals. She's all frustrated just because her child's abducted. Spoiler. By a massive gorilla. This one's off the rails, man. I, she <laughs> she feels she feels Wendy-ish. But again, as a character. Uh huh. Is she think, playing? I think she's. 
mocking her so, neighbor who she might have uh, had a disagreement with the other day when she came knocking on the door saying, why is your husband rubbing his butt in his windows when I'm trying to okay. bring home my if broccoli? Yes, if we're keeping our, our score sheet on the board here of when things are happening, is this like immediately post jobs? Yes, and that's true. Is a job's job? This work? Work. Thank you. Jeez, jobs. Work. Work. But okay, so now we're in are we in the are we in the zoo now that we're we are following? On our way to the zoo, but first Okay. Dang it. Another oh. thing that I really like. <laughs> yep. Yep. Got hat on bluey. Yep. Still got them eyebrows. Dude, yeah. Eyebrows oh, d- <laughs> always tell a story in the show, and I love it so much. It's it's interesting because it does, and I feel like I don't know why I'm seeing it so much more in this episode too. I don't know if it's it's why it was written that way or why it was. I don't know. There's something about the eyebrow, the something about the entire vibe of this episode just puts me in an odd spot. I can't. I can't. I literally. You're I, having something because you were saying a lot of that about the dump too. I, you, mm, are you going through an emotional renaissance with your bluey watching? This could be I think difficult. We're, we're hitting. Yeah, we're 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 hitting a certain point in time in the roller coaster of bluey that I think I've gone too far. Now I'm. On the the downslope of it all, and huh? there's only 120 more episodes left. For Sweet, you to get through, so cool. Yeah, so when you talk about things going downhill and things not working out, you know, we haven't even seen season three at all. So I don't even yes, know. Yes, we is it, is haven't. It, is it still? Is it still good? Wink. Is it like a? Do they do a time warp and they just turn into like 28 year olds, or Wink. is it? Wow. Mm, I don't know. What's you going need on. to turn that frown upside down, <laughs> young man. I'm sorry. But now we're at the zoo. Oh, we did it! Cool, we did it. We got a giraffe. Yep, we've got a, a giraffe. Patamelon, kangaroo, kangaroo, patamelon. Bet they like melons. <laughs> Flew with a dad joke right up bounced. I don't know why. I super love that. Just the patamelon just fell over. A, I don't know why. Whack! Just like a. It <laughs> makes a squeak. <laughs> <laughs> I, it feels it feels like a fart joke for you in that in this episode of similar to don't, to, don't I'm, I'm not knocking make me a one level not, character all right done knocking things i'm not gonna say a bad thing about anything anymore. ever again whose yard are they in they're it's over the fence right because bluey or because lucky has the he's backyard the wood fence he's backyard bro and i don't think wendy's cool enough to let that happen is it who's on the other side is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, I don't remember her name. D- Doreen? D- Doreen? Is it Doreen's Maybe? yard? That they're Doreen. just like, hey, can we? <laughs> Poor Doreen's still sitting on that park bench waiting for the bus, so oh, she doesn't no. mind. Girl. <laughs> oh, poor Doreen. Well, that's a okay. good point, though, because, yeah, why would they have a metal fence? Hmm. That's me literally saying, hey, guy next door. So Mind if levels. I jump the fence really quick and set up my mini little zoo? Well, I mean, I feel bad for our neighbors. We don't have fences um, really true. in our neighborhood. And our kids, uh, two houses over, they play with the kids, kiddos over there all the time. So you got the between And our person. folks in the middle, they're just <laughs> running through. And we've known the lot. They've had, we had three different neighbors. Yep. Which, the fact that we've had three different neighbors in the 10 years we've lived here, I wonder if that says bad things on us. But anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem. On- <laughs> first, two, first two neighbors have been like fine and whatever. And it's cool. Maybe, These maybe. third ones, like, a couple months ago, I was like, we're going to put up a fence soon. Maybe Just the house is haunted. told us, like, hmm. Is it a haunted house? Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> anyway, we have another animal at the zoo. Uh-oh. But this one's not friendly. No? It's a big, stinky mm. baboon. Second time that Bandit's a baboon. And stinky quite often as well, too. It's not very friendly. Like, that, that's a... It's hard for... It's hard, it's hard I'm not knocking... For I'm done not, like I said, I'm done knocking this episode, though, so... I'm trying to find the viewpoint that the kids are in, and I don't. I don't think it well, is. Well, maybe Bingo is part of the creating the recipe of the episode, and and when she's she's a toddler, she's like, "Oh, call him a baboon." Yes, but I feel like Bluey is a little bit of a butthead in this episode again. Interesting arc in this episode. Okay. But yes, we are definitely. I would like to see the way that you go. We're definitely to defend her, I guess, in or butthead bluey mode right Uh-oh. now. Okay, saying mean things. Yes. <laughs> poor, poor bandit just wants to read his paper. He and has the same page. It's the same set. Of, the same section of the paper that he's reading section. in that he's moment. Get through it. He wants to finish the story before he gets into game mode. That's okay, fine. Things happen. It's perfect. Okay, that makes but, sense. But zookeeper bluey, uh-huh. poking with a new pool noodle. Which they've got a lot of pool noodles for family. Shout out to the pool, pool noodles. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I got super excited when I saw that because I'm just like, bring it back. Yes, pool noodles. Yes. Mm. They don't have a pool, do they? No, because no. Stripe has it. Uncle Stripe. 
Oh man, I'd hang that's, out with Uncle Shred. That's a commitment right there. That's that's like us investing in a whole bunch of pool gear just to go over the Keenan's house. We got all the fun pool toys at our house, and <laughs> un- although I just realized we don't have anything more than a little mini inflatable pool, and we got a ton of pool. Hey Greg, in our house. yeah, how many inflatables did you bring to the Outer Banks? Hey. <laughs> Just asking. Not- I'm not the one on trial here, but probably if you count the four blow-up inflatable actual uh-huh. um, beach inflatable thingies, we got the inflatable kayak, which uh-huh. worked out great. It did. Absolutely. Worked out great. Hashtag our island. We kayaked an entire About mile three both miles. ways. It was three miles total at least. <laughs> My arm's still sore. But that there was that. And then there was at least, there was the two, three mini ones, the mini yep. inflatables, the one that I had Decided it would be a great idea to cannonball on and have explode underneath me. Uh, oh, so too. I think that was yeah. up to eight. Then we had a couple okay. pool balls. One, two, three, five. About a dozen. Okay. Do you have a pool? What's your... <laughs> I'm not on trial here, sir. <laughs> I am not on trial here, not sir. Not knocking. Not yucking the yum. I'm just <laughs> asking questions for our adoring audience hey, that has now hey. put us to 20,000 listens. Why well, know what I say to that? What? Blind question. <laughs> there he is, If folks. it's good enough for Bandit to do... That's to true. Mrs. Gabardine. Too shy. It's good enough for me to do to you, acting like a Mrs. Gabardine yourself. <laughs> Lady Gabardine yourself over here. Sweet hat, Bluey. Also. So the hat game is strong in this hat episode. Hat game is strong, yeah. Both of them. Because she's got the safari style, almost Jurassic Parky hat. That's fantastic. This does feel very, a mix of Jurassic Park with the animals escaping and a mix of King Kong. <gasps> oh, yeah. Vibes are here and there. Oh, ooh, ooh. But pool noodle. We steal the pool noodle. We use it to scratch our bottom. Yes. <laughs> but, but. <laughs> okay, yes. That too. My bad. <laughs> Should have waited for that one for the Greg joke. My fault. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> know your audience, folks. Pool noodle. Mm. <laughs> Forget that guy. Let's go look at the kookaburras. Kookaburras. Before you saw that they were birds, you know a kookaburra was a bird? Because I was going to quiz you on that. And I was like, mm. oh, they show them and they're birds. Yeah. So never um, mind. I was expecting like a... A wombat type of guy. I think there's some sort of song about a kookaburra in my head. So I don't know why that... that Can but, you sing but, it to me? So, so, kookaburra. So. No, I don't <laughs> I don't know what the song is, but for some reason I feel like there are lyrics that are associated with a kookaburra, kookaburra in some fashion. Kookaburra, and, kookaburra. See? <laughs> We're down in kookaburra. Jamaica, do I want to take you to kookaburra? Wanna, huh, huh, huh. Anyway. See, it's funny because everyone says that I'm the music guy, and that, but but Greg's <laughs> the one that's always singing on this podcast. He's got a it's song beautiful. in my heart. It's beautiful. Got a song in my heart. Ugh. So they go to see the birds. Yes. But not Snowdrop. Mm-mm. She stays behind and does the smartest thing you can do to a giant ape. Of course. Give it a banana when you sneak into its cage. So <laughs> I've seen this happen on news <laughs> Every now and then, you're gonna go and down it that path. does not turn out as well as it did in this. Just saying. I love the fact that the the banana that she has is a it's not a moldy one. It's just a banana that has age to it. If you see the there's there's coloring to it. It's, oh, it's brown in that. some fashion. So it's, gross. It's that's not gross. It's an aged banana, man. Yeah, that's gross. Mm. How what, what what color do you want your banana to be? Normal. Yellow with some spots, right? The banana or the peel? The peel. Oh, okay. Well, here's what no. the peel. Eating the peel. <laughs> Once it gets too brown, it's, it's banana bread banana, and it's yes, done. It is. Which is also delicious. It is. Huh. Shout out banana bread. We're never getting out of the zoo. You know that, right? <laughs> mm. Again, toddlering it up. Yep. Toddlering a big way. Okay. I'm get. I'm getting it now and realizing the error of my ways. There. Yeah, you should. Oh, boo hiss. And this poor gorilla. Yep. Is now getting blamed. The baboon. Is it a gorilla or baboon? I keep saying gorilla, but big hairy baboon, one of the two. Hmm. Or both. The blue baboon. Trying to kick off Snowdrop. Yep. Knows this isn't right. This shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. It's, it's garden host time. Again, <sighs> butthead bluey. This continuing. Episode. Yes. This is... This, I, I, there's, so the things that start transitioning is... I feel like there's the haha we're playing and things are... You know, we're going to be jovial and have a good time. But I feel like there is... Because I feel like even Chili gets frustrated with Bluey in this episode. Because... I think Chili's just playing that Wendy character real well. Oh, Lady G. man. Lady G all the way. Okay. Okay. They are the creative master. They are the acting. They should get an Emmy and an Oscar and a Tony all rolled in. Maybe... What's the other the one? Of- 
Grammy. Got it. Somehow. You know, the, the tiny one, the Grammy. Yeah. They should get all of them for their great acting skills as Wait, toddler. Wait, the Grammy's a music one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she does that sometimes. See? See? With angry eyebrows? What? Yep. Oh, jump. Over the fence. No. No. So stinking good. It- it's so in this you can you can taste that something's different in this episode. You really can because you don't see those goofy goofy almost theatrical Are moments. you sure? I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, head writer of this episode, hit me up, please. I think you just got outer banks on the brain. Uh, is it's that been, what... it's been a month since we recorded proper in this lovely room. Okay. Maybe a little bit more than. Okay. We had a mini backlog. Sure. It's late in the week. Sure, I think I think you've just forgot how to bluey. Don't you? Don't you blame game? Teach him how to blue, blue. Teach him how to bluey. I'm, I'm, I know how to bluey. Don't you? <laughs> don't you knock my bluey game? I'm wearing my bluey Ooh. socks today. Ooh, future episode. Yep. Bluey trivia. Okay. Back and forth, me and you. We each write questions for each other. Oh, bud. Ooh. Don't don't even. That that's coming. Uh, I'm coming. Gonna... I'm writing it down right now. I'm gonna coming sign to up for our Patreon and put that as my request for us as bluey trivia. I like it. Done. Done. That's a, that's it's a, gotta be a thing we do. Yep. Cool. We jump. We escape. <laughs> Ooh. Still in the same scene. Yes. Still in the same scene. Yeah. Would you like to see the reptile section? <sighs> no. Just because this 10 is... seconds is just great. You, so you're enjoying it. Yeah. It stresses me out, man. I feel like Bluey is... playing. This is a... In my op- in my opinion, go for first it, off, please. Snowdrop's laughing her face off. Bingo's having a heck of a time. Sure, mom, mom's playing it up. She's she's in okay. character. She's not mom. She's Lady Gabardine. Maybe I'm stressing out too much about this. Okay, yes. and we're about to get we're about to get a change of tone here. Mm-hmm. But we'll get there in the seven minute episode. We're like minute three. Yep, and we've got at least five to six more hours of talking about this yep, before we get we to do. the the crescendo of the moments. <laughs> You're such a boob. Zookeeper brings a car inside. Yes. Chasing down the monkey. So you're bringing it outside. By the way, now it's apparently inside. a monkey and not a gorilla or a baboon. That's My fine. notes are all over the place. Ooh, ooh. Again, snow job breaking down laughing. Sure. Everything is great. Huh. Free to see our emus. Still, still zookeeper in it up. I don't know, man. <laughs> and then the back and forth of broom, broom. Ooh, ooh. Broom, broom. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. Man. <laughs> so now he, so he's done with the article then. Oh, he's been done with the article so for a good. while. We're good then. We're good. He's in game mode. Okay, cool. So Bandit's hanging out. Maybe Bandit I need to start down to more play. Time. Okay. Goes upstairs. Cars can't go upstairs. <sighs> That's so, true. Again, this is this is the King Kong moment where me, okay, like, climbing the building, escaping. Uh huh. I don't know why I'm doing the climbing gesture when nobody can cool. see Mountain you, climbers. but I'm sure you enjoy it. Chauncey, we got this. Don't Lift overstretch your like. But so where does he go? Where do they go to hide? Where of all places that should be upstairs? That's a good. That's a safe sanctuary. It, the, for, ooh, ooh. The, the Olive Garden of the Healer House, which the is their pasta, pasta class. pantry, baby. I love it. They're back. <laughs> it's not just a one-off. The pasta pantry <laughs> exists. Pasta it's, pantry is canon confirmed. I love that. What kind of what kind of pasta is in there? Is there lasagna? I, how many different types of pasta are in the pasta pantry? I didn't count. I didn't count either. You didn't count. Oh, my God. There, oh. there, there was a cute little uh, bin uh, that had a dog bone on it, though. So there is there is tasty dog bone goodness in there. But I did not I did not see any lasagna in there. But there is a scale, too. There's so much going on in that house. Like yeah, So it, many things. <laughs> I can't keep track of it. wild there. ride. I, uh. I also enjoy the um, snowdrop turning into Jane Goodall moment there where... Me snowdrop you. <laughs> That's <shit. laughs> she. It's again. It's got that King Kong vibe yeah. to it. That's that's spot on. King Kong meets Tarzan meets yes. Planet of the Apes. There's a maybe. I don't know. See, there's there's so much going on that. And this is a good app. I'm. I feel like you're you're hospitaling this one, and I'm I'm enjoying this guy. I am a little bit. Yes. Ooh. I'm sorry. Controversy. Wait yes. until brackets part three. Bum bum. Yes. Is that possible? I'm very confused by this yes. banana trap. Yes. It's hanging from what? First off. Yep. Magically hanging from the ceiling. But okay, I'll give him that. And then when we come out, we see the banana. Ooh, ooh, ooh. runs for it. Ooh, Snow ooh. trap trying to say no. Ooh, ooh. And the payoff of the trap. 
is Bluey jumping on? How Ooh. big are Bluey's arms in this situation? We needed like a Blue Mountains like even, stretch scene. I wasn't of, even going there. I feel like if there's a trap hanging from the ceiling, uh-huh. something when you pull it should fall from the ceiling. Uh-huh. Now somebody. It, the, okay. Yes. The, okay. The, 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 it would be easier if the banana was on the floor. <laughs> that makes sense. So than hanging sense. from the ceiling. <laughs> That's not how traps work. I would, I would like to. So Greg said that he wanted to do a reenactment of the entire thing of a banana hanging from my ceiling fan here and me jumping on him with a, a blanket and seeing how that would work out. I don't know how it would work out. You are close. I don't think it would. You are close, but roles reversed. Uh oh. You are close. What did I do? Well, you're gonna be. The, you are obviously the gorilla in the scenario. Ah. Are you kidding me? Ah. Boon. Yes. You tickled it to sleep because that's what you do with baboons. Makes sense. Everybody knows that tracks. Mom's happy. Zookeeper's happy. Yep. But I'm sad. Snow Devil lost her buddy. Ooh, 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 ooh. It even says in the captions where it's like echoing in, in parentheses. Again, just, great ooh, acting by Bingo. You feeling this? Children's Choice Award for still, sure. Is she still toddler Bingo though? Or is she still Snowdrop toddler? She's grown. Toddler? She's grown. She's learned. She's okay. still Snowdrop, but Snowdrop is maturing. Two. Especially since she's being Snowdrop again all day. Yep. Because cut to evening. Mm-hmm. Cut about 12 hours later. <laughs> 12 hours? In my opinion, yep. we just woke up. We just had breakfast and I'm reading the newspaper. And then oh, we went no, to game that mode. That makes sense. That tracks. Yes. Time. I'm sorry. That, that 100%. So we've been snowdrop uh-huh. and presumably dad missing all day. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we're in bed now. Well, we're in bed now. We're but in bed. Flash tonight. Bingo. Is in Bingo's bed. Is she? At the end of her bed. Dun, dun, dun. Art department. And then it cuts back. It's a little B. Oopsies. These things happen so to the best I, of us. I'm sitting here talking about how fantastic that their entire pasta pantry is. And I'm like, oh, the bees <laughs> missing there, folks. Ugh. Okay, they're so comic gonna, book guy. <laughs> I gotta say, like, I gotta... <laughs> Tone back the the bluey vibe there, Mike, a little bit. I'm I'm a, I'm a little too <laughs> picky choosy about that. So that's on me. My bad. It's I, just, all I good. saw it and I'm like, that's a good point though. I did it. I I didn't notice it until we watched the episode and I heard you go. Just, <laughs> like what's he doing? Oh. I'm not meaning to knock it. It's just it, that's why we do what we do is to I'm find pretty, the fun small I'm pretty things. Sure you actually went like <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> pretty spot. When on, you saw it. Because you, you're the baboon. Yeah, I picked that up. Okay, let's okay. make it sure. Cool, thanks. With your baboon brain, I didn't know if you... <laughs> that's too mean. Folks. Uh, hey, hey, Mike. Yeah. Love you, buddy. I'm crying banana tears over here. Oh, that's right. adorable. <laughs> 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 I feel bad, but then you said the banana appears, and I'm just picturing that, and that's just adorable. So thanks. It's like, I feel like Donkey Kong did that in a Donkey Kong Country at some point. Feels like it should have been. I, I don't know. I, don't I never know. played the Donkey Kong Country games. What? Yeah, that's on me. That's going to be another talk another day then, sir. Okay. Anyway, bad. sad bad. snow drop. Yep. Ooh, ooh, tomorrow? Again, still in character, still toddler, which I think would probably get old. 12 hours 12 hours it? later. Yeah. Okie dokie. Goodness, no. We're not going to see. Ooh, ooh, we're not going to let's do it again. Mm. And I, I we cut by it quickly. Again, character growth yep. for Zookeeper Bluey. Okay. When ooh, ooh's getting carted away. Snowdrop's leaving. Bluey's looks. You can see the eyebrows. You can see the remorse. From where? I do the right thing? From where? After tackling um, Ooh Ooh oh, earlier. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. It was like, am I the baddie? Look on her eyes. Uh-huh. Not knowing. A little bit from the dump there. Growth. Mm. Learning. Is she the baddie? So she does what any responsible zookeeper Come would do. bursting out of the window? Yup. With a <laughs> gorilla that she puts in a little girl's house. How did... As you? any responsible <laughs> zookeeper would do. Because I'm six and I'm walking by my bedroom window. I'm just going to kick it in and be like, no drop. <laughs> <laughs> it worked, though. We get nice cuddles on the wrong bed. Okay. Which is okay. These things happen. Because that was the other thing. Bingo is the bed far from the window. Bluey is the bed by the window. And Bingo ends in the close to the window bed with ooh. See, look at you. Look at you analyzing at, the, the sleeping situation. Because we care way too much about where these doggos are sleeping. We have a lovely reunion. Yes. Bluey watches on proudly. Roll credits. How are you feeling now? I'm happy. Are this you? I'm so intrigued by that. This is a good episode. There are not many episodes of Bluey. I will say I'm, this was trash. Sure. Well, no, no. I mean, Except it, the it, dump, but because it's out of trash. <laughs> 
it, this will be very interesting in part three. I'm curious to see. Yes, again, this it's is, still a month out, but I'm curious to see what the fans have oh, to say. Are folks, you team Mike, folks? Are you team Greg? Oh, I need. I need just. I don't even know if that needs to be a bracket question. I think I just need to ask him. Yeah, Zoo. Yeah, Zoo. zoo. Oh, don't don't you flavor my sauce the, that I'm creating over here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Zoo. You're flavoring. Yeah, your Zoo. <laughs> of course I am. Right, post a question <laughs> on Monday. I'm not sure if this will be a fan of, of an official bat. Sure, but yay, Zoo, nay, Zoo. Yeah, yay, Zoo, nay, Zoo. Okay. Boom. <laughs> At watching Bluey, let us know, please, because that need that needs to happen. Absolutely. It's gotta be a thing Whoa. y'all do. I wasn't gonna do it. Don't, don't you giggly, worry. Don't go giggly over here. I never do something that silly before I ask you. Hey, Mike. Yeah. What was your favorite thing? My favorite. What the ended because it was trash. I'm Mike. Brr. Sorry. <coughs> I oh. Something my throat there. Uh, you, you still there? We good? You good? So I think actually I'm not gonna lie to you. It's it's changed. Shocking because I'm me. I think my favorite thing is realizing Bingo actually playing the part that I didn't know that she was playing. So I'm gonna give kudos to you on on reading Thanks, into it pal. way more than I did because in my head I felt like the 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 writing was dumbing down Bingo without me realizing that. Bingo's smarter than I am, and she was playing a toddler when she was four and a half, five. So I got my that's my favorite thing. It was that that clicking for me. So And that that is definitely a thing because Livy has gotten to the mode of also playing Sure. Like playing baby, playing Yeah. Like a, a true literally versus yeah. the almost five she is now. So that's on me. And I I have learned my favorite thing by just talking to you. So that that's that's what happens. If you listen to me more, your life would be so much better. I agree. Greg? Yeah, bud. What was your favorite thing? I loved the slow mo jump sequence. Ah, Just cool! Flying through the air, no! yeah, crashing down, running away. The surprise! Did you like to see our reptile house? How did so so good? Ben jumped over the fence. He got some ups with Bingo in arm. Landed, nobody's harmed. Run away! I I need I, <laughs> again. <laughs> How is that happening, hey, man? Hey, listeners! Hey, listeners who are. Both artsy and crafty and amazing. Go jump over a fence. I'm actually, I'm looking, I'm, I'm going to shout out one particular. Hey, Bob Bilby, my dude, you make some really cool memes, really cool videos. I would love to see a bandit jumping over the vents with I believe I can fly sequence from Space Jam underneath it. That's just a thing that I need to have happen. Make it so. You're awesome. Oh, that's great. I'll see it. That's but yeah, otherwise, that's my favorite thing. otherwise you're gonna get a, just a, a, a us throwing our bandit figure over a fence twenty times and like <laughs> slow mowing one of those, and it's just gonna be. Who's your favorite character? With their growth throughout the episode, uh-huh. I'm giving it to the zookeeper. She okay. might have been hmm. a booty head to start off. Yep. But wow. some of the best lines, some of the silliest lines. Do you want to see the reptile exhibit? We got the emus. It's fine, ma'am. Still staying in the zookeeper character yep. while advancing the storyline, and then clicking at the end, being like, "Oh, I flubbed it." I need to help. I need to do the right thing. Dang. So I'm giving it to my this pal, is... the zookeeper. Hey, Mike. This is you being a I'm... better adult than I am. I think <laughs> because I, I was frustrated. You, sure, I... you sure you want to post that question, so bud? <laughs> no, not at all. Absolutely, we're going to. Of course. But before you do that, hey, Mike, uh-huh. who's your favorite character? My favorite character was Drop Man. I do, I do. I she I couldn't knock her in that situation, and I felt like it was it was a, she was just a little funky this day. And I, I feel like I'm growing in this episode with you right now, so I'm still gonna post a question, but with realizing. Someone of that age could act at a role that's a younger age and doing the the whole when I wrote down the word kangaroo, I felt like they wrote it be like, oh, she's just she's 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 too young. She's being younger than she is. And I'm realizing now that she's extraordinary. My gosh. I'm exhausted thinking about this. I'm not going to lie to you. (laughs) I hope you have enough energy left. Okay. To tell me how you rank this episode. I rank this episode one pool noodle. That they have hanging Ooh. out of the house. I still am going to shout out to the pool noodles and keeping the pool toys around the place. And also, um, hey, Doreen, fix the fence because <laughs> you shouldn't be able to slip and slide underneath there and get around it. So maybe maybe also the cost of one chain link fence repair is the way I'll, hey, I'll help your elderly neighbor fix the fence. Yeah, Come man. On. 
Or, oh, yeah. I'll just I shove mean, a rock over you, there. That'll work, If you've got time to rock out Stump Fest, how about Doreen? Just... Put in the put in the elbow grease. Fence first. Fence fence first. <laughs> Greg, I need to know this. It's the big question that we always need to know every single time. Episode thirty five of Bluey. How is Greg ranking the zoo? Twenty two. Ooh ooh. Twenty two. Ooh ooh. Because I like alliteration. It's a fun thing to do. <laughs> it's also a fun thing to, to say. Thank you, there everybody, for folks. listening. Plug time at watching Bluey. Whew. Gonna have a vote up there apparently. Yeah, the zoo. Be, or, the, yeah. be gentle to Mike when you say that the zoo is actually a good and fun episode. <laughs> I'm curious. And that let trash. Us know. Let us know. You can also let us know. More segues <gasps> by sending us an email at watchingbluey at gmail.com. Send us your feel, your take, some audio. Could be this episode, could be any episode. We want to hear from you. We love when you do it. We might post it. We also love. We'll probably post it. Definitely post it. We also love when you rate, review this <gasps> lovely podcast, make a comment. Hit us up. Read it on air. Again, bit.ly slash 2BWB Pat. Got some fun ones up there. We've oh got, my gosh. Jeez, what do we have at this point? We've got dad jokes. Avatar. We've got Avatar. We've, we've got, got Turning Red. Turning Red. And just recently posted, we've got <gasps> Firefly, which. Episode one. Oh, buddy. Off, I can't even right now. Buddy. That's 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 a happening. few more a few more to come. We know we didn't quite get that four goal last month, so we're gonna three and three it up because yes. we're gonna make, do our mate good. It's what we do. You dang right, and we we, we love you guys honestly. Like love the, you every day. absolute appreciation for anything and everything when it comes to chatting with us. Thank you so much. You know who else we love? What do what do we love? Are we? We also love our moms. Happy Mother's oh, Day. Why are you gonna make me look like a day bomb? after Mother's Day? Happy Mother Day, Mama Don. Love you tons. Love you tons. Shirley, Happy- what up? Carrie, what up? Beth, what up? Amazing moms in our lives. Love you all. You're better than moms than I am. <laughs> and lastly, <laughs> yep. And second, most importantly, because the moms are the most important thing. Is it? Me. Is it st- stuffed kangaroos? Is it fence repair? Please be fence repair. <laughs> if you want to see actual gorillas oh. in Australia, which aren't in that many zoos, oh, head on down to Sydney. Wee! And go to the. Taranga Zoo. Yes, God, I love it. Oh, in Sydney, Australia. I would. Fabulous gorilla exhibit. To learn more, please go to taranga.org. Don't that do it. You. Oh, my God. Don't do that. You know it's going to be there. You. They, we, they have a two for one special right now. So use promo code. Mike's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Use <laughs> promo code. Happy Mother's Day. Aw, oh, happy yeah. Mother's Day. That's better, isn't it? That is better. <laughs> but until next week, my friends. Until next time. It's gotta be done.